Hi there, my name is Ben Worthington and in this tutorial we're going to look at a couple, well not a couple, in fact seven valuable IELTS band uh, jumping reading strategies. Alright, so let's get straight into it. In the reading exam, time is your enemy. Okay, so you have to read for a purpose. You have to read um, with the objective of answering questions, finding information, and of course correctly uh, answering what's required of you. So, best way to get around this is to try different techniques, do practice tests, find out what works for you, find the areas where you lose points, and then focus on those areas specifically. All right, now, Tip number two is predicting, okay? You need to get this ability. It's very important and it's also valuable for the listening, okay? So if you see some text and you see that the headline might be Olympics, then what you need to do is start imagining or um, predicting, yeah, imagining basically, what could be going on, okay? Are you going to imagine all the different nations marching in the parade? Are you going to imagine the different sports that are going on? You know, the weightlifting, the competition. Are you going to imagine the trophies or the medals, the gold and the silver? Or are you going to think of the doping allegations and all the rest of it? Okay, but try and get into the habit of generating this vocabulary. Okay, and it's not that difficult to do. Tip number three, I'm going to just tell you how to improve your prediction skills, okay? What you need to do is start reading about the topics that are on the are in the IELTS exam, okay? So we know that there's going to be, uh, the topics are, we know that there's crime, transport, education, politics, environment, and a couple of others, I can't remember at the moment, but what we can do is start reading texts about that information and highlighting, pulling out the vocabulary we need, or even better, get those headlines, environment, pollution, start writing down vocabulary that we think is associated to that, okay? And then compare it with the article. This is just a case, it's like going to the gym. The more you do it, or practicing a sport, the more you do it, the better you get at it, okay? So try and introduce this into your daily routine. Now then, tip number four. This is shifting from passive reading to active reading, okay? Now generally, it's considered that reading is a passive skill, like listening. So what we need to do is basically change that idea, okay, and learn how to actively read. So what do we do when we're reading actively? Well, we're getting more involved in the text. We are highlighting, we're underlining, we're circling, we're making notes in the margins, like with a star, okay? And we're also, let's see, um, we're also going through and trying to predict the text like we've done before, okay? But basically just underlining the key points and instead of sort of like just looking at the words and interpreting it, we're sort of like fully comprehending and understanding it and taking it all on board and looking for the key points and important names and dates and things like that, okay? So that's a very important skill to have. Now, tip number five is that we should just, there's two types of questions. There's the general ones and the specific ones, okay? We should read the general ones first, okay? These are like matching paragraphs, matching cause and effects, and summarizing. And the specific ones are the multiple choice, identifying the writer's viewpoint, sentence completion, and short answer questions, okay? Now, do the general ones first, then the specific ones, the specific questions next, okay? Read the questions and again and again and again until you get like an overall summary about what the article is about, okay? Now, by doing the general questions first, 
you're going to accidentally find the answers to the specific questions okay and it'll be easier to answer the specific questions because you've already got like a general overview of the passage <clears throat> okay so this is these are just my recommendations by the way okay adopt them try them and then give me feedback all right tip number six okay now uh, this tip is more for the IELTS tutors watching this but if you want to really take your reading and um, <clears throat> these skills to the next level okay I'd strongly recommend you actively read a book called how to read a book by Adler Mortimer okay this is a really interesting book and it takes the skill of reading and it analyzes it and it gives you some really good um, information and strategies to use so that you can really take your reading to the next level okay it talks about the different types of reading scanning and skimming not just that but uh, how reading advanced text is like really stretching for information and the different types of reading reading for information uh, reading for evaluation and comparing different texts but if you are really uh, if you're going for a band nine I'd strongly recommend this and if you're a tutor also read it because there's lots of skills there that you can pass on to your students as well okay and the final bonus tip is really experiment find out what works for you get into a positive feedback loop that means measuring monitoring which strategy works the best and then implementing it okay so you you do a practice test you get the results back find out where you're losing points you focus on that area and then you do another test okay or you try one strategy in one test try a different strategy in the next test measure balance which ones work best okay if this strategy works better then go with that and start perfecting it okay but unless you're taking like an active approach and measuring and monitoring and getting in what we have said a million times before a positive feedback loop it's unless you're doing that it's difficult to improve or it's almost impossible to improve so please do that that's the bonus now if you do want more help and if you're still having problems then come to my website sign up and you'll get lots of free advice uh, you'll get special offers and it'll just make the whole process a lot easier all right thanks for watching and uh, good luck in your exam all the best yes honest I like the discus in the Olympics. Puede seguir y voy a Like the discus in the Olympics. Okay.